Let me show you how to do this calculation for your own mortgage situation with different mortgage amounts, interest rates, and amortization periods. I'll show you how to build an easy calculator in Google Sheets to find these numbers for yourself. For those of you who have not used Google Sheets before, simply log into your Gmail account. At the top right of the page next to your profile icon, there are nine dots. Click this and then scroll down to Sheets, click Sheets, and a page will open up. Click the plus sign to the left, and now we've got a blank Google Sheet. At the top left, you can name it, so we click here, Untitled Spreadsheet. Let's name it Mortgage Payment Analysis. We want to find the monthly mortgage payment for a mortgage amount of $500,000 with an annual mortgage rate of 2% and a repayment or amortization period of 25 years. So type into the cells the details which we know, which are mortgage amount of $500,000, current annual mortgage rate of 2%, amortization period in years of 25. Next, include the following attributes. The principal amount is the mortgage amount, which is $500,000. So we can reference the cell of C3. So we type in equal C3, press enter. We should make this an absolute reference by putting a dollar sign before the C and the three. Next, the yearly interest rate is 2%. Similarly, we reference cell C4. Here we can also put an absolute reference. Thirdly, the amortization period in years is 25, so we reference cell C5, and we also make this an absolute reference. We can now find the monthly mortgage payment, and to do so, we type in equal PMT, open brackets, and the first input is rate. Since we want to find the monthly payment amount, we need to use the monthly interest rate. We know the annual or yearly interest rate is 2%. We will need to divide 2% by 12 to get the monthly interest rate. We know that our interest rate is in cell C9, so we reference it, divide by 12. Our next input is number of periods. Similarly, because we need the monthly payment period, we also need to put the number of periods periods in months. So how many months are in 25 years? Well, that would be 25 times 12. So we can reference the number 25 and then multiply by 12. The third parameter is the present value. This is the amount that we are borrowing, which is our mortgage amount of $500,000. Because we are borrowing this or we are paying this, we will put a minus sign and then reference the principal amount or the mortgage amount, which is cell C8. We close our parenthesis and we get $2,119.27. Let's calculate the total amount you will pay after 25 years. If you pay $2,119.27 each month, for one year, you'll pay this number multiplied by 12, and for 25 years would be multiplied by 25. We get $635,781.51. This means that if we borrow $500,000 at 2% interest rate, after 25 years, we will be paying a total of $635,781.51. Therefore, the total interest paid over the lifetime of 25 years is this number minus $500,000. We can input the total interest paid as equal cell C15 minus minus cell C8. We've got $135,781.51 in total interest after a lifetime of 25 years. Now that we know the mortgage payment at the current interest rate, let's increase the interest rate by 0.25%. Let's put current rate equal I in cell C7. In column D, we will calculate when the interest rate goes up by 0.25%, which is I plus 0.25%. We can put an apostrophe or a single quotation mark, then the letter I plus 0.25%. The mortgage or principal amount is $500,000, so we type in equal cell C8. Since we are looking at a rise in interest rate by 0.25%, we need to type in cell D9 2.25%, which is 2% plus 0.25%. That is cell C9 plus 0.25%. Next, since our amortization period in years is 25, we type in equal C10. 
when we worked out the calculation in column C, we referenced the cells with the inputs in the current rate calculation. To apply the formula to the values in column D, that is $500,000 at 2.25% with 25 years amortization period, we can simply copy this formula and paste it here as right click, copy, right click, paste. If we click into the formula bar, they reference the cells in column D, which is what we wanted. Here, the monthly payment amount would be $2,180.65. If we click the formula bar, our first input is our interest rate 2.25% divided by 12, D9 divided by 12. The second input is 25 times 12, D10 multiplied by 12. And the third input is $500,000, which is minus D8. You can press enter. How much more do we pay monthly when the rate hikes by 25 basis points? Well, that would be $2,180.65 minus to $2,119.27, which is D11 minus C11. We will make C11 an absolute reference. Next, how much more do we pay yearly? That will be $61.38 multiplied by 12, which is $736.58. What about for the 25-year lifetime of the mortgage? Well, it's the annual difference multiplied by 25, 736.58 multiplied by the life of the mortgage, which is cell D10. The total amount paid after 25 years is the total amount paid per month multiplied by 12 months in a year multiplied by 25 years of the life of the mortgage. Because we've referenced cell C11, we can also change this formula and reference the 25 years by cell C10. And when we do so, we copy this formula and paste it to cell D15. We can do that by right-clicking copy, then in cell D15, right-clicking, then pasting. And similarly, for the total interest paid in 25 years, it would be the total amount paid for 25 years minus the original principal amount, which is C15 minus C8. So we can also copy and paste this formula across. Now that we've done it for 0.25% increase, we can easily do this for increments of 25 basis points as it increases to 4.25%. How do we do this? we select cells D8 to D16 and place your cursor at the bottom right. A plus sign shows up. You can hold your mouse or your trackpad and drag it across all the way to column L. We can copy rows for the description and paste it in cells E7 to L7 and adjust the description like this. Notice that a hike to an interest rate of 2.5% means $123.81 more will be paid monthly. A hike to 3% means $251.78 more will be paid monthly. Similarly, we see differences we called out earlier for the yearly differences and the lifetime differences. Now you can quickly do some formatting like this. So you can use this as your own calculator for different mortgage amounts, rates, and amortization periods. All you have to do is change the numbers accordingly in cells C3 to C5, the green area here. Let's see if we change this to $400,000. Notice the numbers changed. Let's try 100,000. Let's try 1 million. Let's return to 500,000. We can also try changing the interest rate. Let's try 3.5, from 3.5 to 5.75. You can also change the amortization period. Let's return this to the initial scenario. You can also create the graphs. Firstly, select cells B7 to L7. Click Insert Chart. 
a chart pops up and the chart editor also pops up. Now we want the interest rate on the horizontal axis. So to do this, we need to flip the rows and columns. And by doing so, we go to setup, then scroll down, click switch rows columns. Notice the rate is on the horizontal axis now, but we don't want all of these values. We only want the monthly difference. So let's remove everything except the monthly difference. Click the three dots, click remove. Do this for all that you do not want. Now we've got a chart. This chart shows us the monthly difference by the different interest rates. We can add labels by clicking customize, series, data labels. Notice that the data labels are here. You can ensure that the position is at the outside end like this one. We can change the color of the bars. Scroll up, click fill color, change the color of the bar. We can change the color of the text. If you click it, this takes you to the customized area under series. So scroll down and go to text color, choose color black. You can bold this if you want. You can also make this a 3D chart by scrolling up to the chart style, then clicking 3D. Let's add a chart title. Under Customize, click Chart and Access. Under Chart Title, type in your title. Let's type in Monthly Payment Difference by Interest Rates. You can center the title by clicking the Title Format, the middle option. You can change the text color to black by clicking Title Text Color and let's change it to black. You can also bolden this by clicking the B under Title Format. Next, you may want to remove the grid lines. Then scroll down to Grid Lines and Ticks and uncheck Major Grid Lines. The grid lines have disappeared. On the X axis or the horizontal axis, you may want to see the actual interest rates that you're talking about. So to do this, you can do so by changing your table. So scroll up to your table. Over here, you can type in 2.25%. Notice that it changed here. So let's continue doing that for the rest. Once this is complete, you may want to create the same chart for the annual difference. You don't need to do all of this again. You can copy the chart, copy, then paste. Let's move it to the middle. For this chart, double click this chart. The chart editor for this chart will appear. Now we want to change the chart title to yearly payment difference. You may also want to change the color of the bars. So if you double click the bars under customize series, the monthly difference, you can change the fill color to whatever color you would like it to be. Next, which is the most important thing, is that we need to change the values. Here, it's still showing the values for the monthly payment difference. We need to change it to the yearly payment difference. So double click the chart. If you go under setup, scroll down, notice that there's monthly difference under series. We need to add the yearly difference and delete or remove the monthly difference. Now the numbers are for the yearly difference. Again, we can do this for the lifetime difference. So if you click the chart and you copy it, and let's paste it here. And for this chart, let's name it lifetime payment difference. So you double click the title. Automatically, it comes to that area in the chart editor, customize chart and access title. So let's do lifetime, and then you can put 25 years payment difference. You can change the color of the bars by double clicking the bar. It comes to the customize under series, change the fill color, and most importantly, change the references to the numbers. This is currently referencing the yearly difference. We need it to reference the lifetime difference. Double click the chart under setup. You'll see that yearly difference is there under the series. We want to instead add the lifetime difference and then remove the yearly difference. So now you have the three charts to assist you in your analysis and decisions. And now you can play with this calculator. You can input whatever values that are important to you. So suppose if it's going to be 320,000, 
at a 1.8% interest rate for an amortization period of 30 years. You can enter these amounts here and you will see what the values are going to be. You can always double check that these are referencing the correct areas. You can see that the values have changed here and so did the values change in your graphs. So hopefully this can help you to understand how interest rates will affect your mortgage or monthly payments and how to calculate it yourself for your mortgage. Thank you for watching and learning and hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.